found out that I've got Epstein Barr, which isn't the greatest news in the world, but it is quite good to find out what is wrong as well and get some answers because this has been going on for such a long time now, since the start of February, basically in the last four or five months that I've just not been feeling myself and good to just finally get some answers back for all the tests that we were doing that, yeah, I've got Epstein Barr. So, aye, it's no great. Um, it's basically just to describe it, it just kind of feels a bit like long COVID or something like that. I've just got a lot of fatigue, tiredness. Anytime I've tried to be in the bike, I'm just feeling really flat, no energy, no power, and just, just feeling a shadow of myself, really. So, aye, it's no been, it's no been easy and no been able to do that much training in that period. And yeah, I managed to get a couple of races done at the end of May, start of June, and just, yeah, they went really terrible. And the only reason I was really doing them is because it was really the qualifying event for Glasgow 2023. It was the last chance to play any sort of part in that this year. It's always a big year for Scotland with the, the World Championships coming here. And so I knew it wasn't going to go well, but it was the last chance to, to be involved in any way. So I didn't go so good, but it was a bit of a blessing in disguise, really, because, you know, they went that bad that it just kind of forced me to take a step back and go, do you know what? I'm just not really in any shape right now to be racing or to be competing. Like, I'm just... I need to take a step back and take some time off and so after the tour of Cambridgeshire at the start of June we just had a few weeks off this will now be my third week off the plan was kind of two to four weeks off after that to try and just give the body some rest and hopefully I can get back on the bike and start training again in July but you know I'm also prepared that I'm going to be it's going to be a lot longer than that I know Mark Cavendish got diagnosed with this back in 2017 and he was out for about eight months kind of wiped out most of his year that year so I'm prepared for this to be a lot longer but it would be good to get back training soon because I'm just I'm really really missing it and really just kind of starting to struggle a bit mentally as well just really uh, it's just not been not been easy so that's where I'm at at the moment you know things haven't been so good but uh, I've been been through worse and uh, I believe that I can overcome this and get back to my best and yeah I've, I've got faith so just need to keep going for now and that's it really.